Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins, the third and final little free run video I'm going to do. We've done Alexandria, we've done Memphis. Here we are in the vast and beautiful open world of Egypt here in Assassin's Creed Origins. We're just going to be jumping around, leveling up, doing some side activities, completing some locations, whatever we can do. Um, now, I just did a quest a little earlier that was the, the quest I'm about to start is linked to. So pretty much I've just joined along with these rebels in this region. Uh, trying to take out some villainous people. So I've uh, helped recover them. Get their base set up. And now... It looks like we're going to be doing some attacking ourselves. Are you Theodorus's men? Yes. And who are you? He is the Sea One. I come on his behalf. He'll be joining us shortly with instructions. Good. The soldiers are reeling, but it won't be long before reinforcements arrive. Come. Theodorus! Ready your blades and check your arrows. Kratos will be back at the camp before sunrise. You're with me, but don't forget, he is mine. Right on, bro. What is your stake in this? This is more about him than it is about your war. My father grew figs in the Fayum. The best. Karatos taxed him. An Egyptian has no choice but to pay. One season, the harvest was so poor that my father struggled to give his cut. Karatos figured him for a cheat. He took a bite of fruit to prove his point. He got a mouthful of worms. His men laughed. But Karatos was furious. I watched as my father was hanged from his own tree and picked at by every animal in the region. Taratos embodies the unjust. He is why I am who I am. I need you, Bayek. Tririm! The gods have brought us together for this! Justice will be served today! Uh, we're getting into it now. Let's go, boys. For Egypt! I'm definitely taking my own horse though. Deratos dies today! Leave no one alive! Clear the camp! Oh shit. We're going full on assault mode. For gun I mean for Egypt! Did he set himself on fire? Let's get off this horse. Let's do this. <laughs> this one knows me by name. Good. I will crash your puny sky. No, uh, you won't do shit. And you're fucking dead. <laughs> Leave him alone! Okay, there's still a couple more to kill. This is fucking fun! Hey, what the okay. Oh, sh oh shit, okay, okay, okay. Well, that was wrong. Charge him! Eat my nuts! Oh shit. Don't break him. I said eat him. For some reason. Because that's better? Uh, oh shit, Phylax in here, don't want that. Sorry bitch, 
Hier mal. Oh shit, he's setting him on fire. Oh fuck. Glory to fuck me, these guys don't mess around, do they? They are all action. Finally, my father's car is at peace. Let's move. We have a long trek ahead. Where are we going? One more villain in Midat. You have had your vengeance, Theodorus. Was it worth it? <laughs> I was wondering the same. I have not visited my father's tomb since he was killed by Doratos. I had to do right by him. And now, I have. Thank you, Bayek. Shame there are so few Medjai left. Your reputation precedes you. Save your blessings. There will be more battles to win. Yes. May our victories multiply. Alright, we're getting close now. To our stone circle. Because I do want that Isu armor you get from it when you do all 12 stone circles and then you collect 50 of these glowing old things from the tombs. So every chance I get, I'll try to do that. Oh shit, a bunch of flamingos. Here we go. Here we are, at the stone circles. Okay, what is this one? Doesn't fit there. Papa, why do people die? We are not gods. Everything must die. It is what a moon has ordained for us. Will we be together in the afterlife? Be brave and strong. Fight for justice. Do not lie. This is all anyone can do. Ma'at will decide if we are worthy to walk together in the field of reeds. I'm sure you will, though. Your car is good. Your car is good? What does that mean? Pisces, the two fish. Joined by the thread of this life, they are forever balanced between the afterlife and the underworld. Where the fuck is this one? I need to find a small circular cluster together. Oh, fucking finally. There we go. Nailed it. Fish. Sweet, another stone circle down. Uh, let's go do maybe a fortress or something. I don't know. So we're on the water right now. Let's see what we could do. I know this may seem dull that you guys are joining me on my quest for viewpoints, but trust me. Viewpoints always lead to adventures. That much is clear. Who knows what we'll find along the way. Like this question mark symbol over here. I want to know what that is. Hopefully it's something good and not shit. 
If I don't kill my nice horse from exhaustion up these uh, mountains in the middle of a desert, but you know. Let's see what happens. Oh, fortress, fuck that. No, no, just a viewpoint it is. How many fortresses can I show these people? We get it. The Roman occupation is vast and we have little control. We get it. Oh, fuck me. There's lions. Lion lair. Well, it feels like, it certainly feels like a lion's lair. See a horse, you're on your own. Sorry, mate. I'm fucking out of here. That's a lot of lions! Holy fuck! We gotta kill the king one? I could do that. But I'll stand up here and do it like a coward. Level 33. Fuck off. I'll fuck you up. Come back here, you stupid lion. You're a fucking coward. Fuck off. I've got you. I've fucking got you. I don't care how- I don't care how high a level you are. I'll fuck you up. Yeah, boy! Oh yeah, there's more of them. Um... Let's get out of here. Uh, and fast, if we could, that would be, you know, ideal for me. Okay, we're in Hermopolis, so I'm not sure what, where or what that is. Hold on a second. We've got two shining question marks, which either means a tomb, or means stone circle. Either way, I want them. Holy shit! I got three shiny, shiny question marks, ladies and gentlemen. This is how we're gonna end this episode. Three shiny question marks, three stone circles, three tombs, or a combination of the two. Either way, I'm very excited right now. Maybe this is the way I need to go. Well, we're in. Is this the right tomb, though? Is that a different one? Well, there's another qu question mark in there, but maybe, maybe I can find something out in here. Let's do with that. Already found some good loot. Gotta also keep an eye out for the collectibles that are in this tomb. Okay, it doesn't look like anything in here. Looks like we're heading down. Okay, nothing here. Two directions we could have gone then. 
If in doubt, go right. Yep, these are the ones I'm looking for. These little crystals. <laughs> Whoa, made it. First parkour challenge I've had in any of these tombs. Oh shit, there's fucking guards in here. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a tomb. Pick up the loot and collectibles along the way, of course. Can't leave without that stuff. Oh shit. Hey, what? Oh, there's the other guy. Yep, yeah, okay mate, there we are. Glad we could sort that out for you. Huh? Obsidian. That's not Egyptian. None of this is Egyptian. Holy fucking shit. What is this? Where am I? Um... So, I imagine there's probably going to be plenty of these collectibles in an Isu temple. Since I know they these have to do with the Isu armor, right? Holy shit. Retransmission. Second. Holy fuck. It has been 99 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. On the 21st day of December 2012, Desmond activated the global Aurora Borealis device and protected the Earth from the sun's deadly coronal mass ejection. On the 21st day of December 2012, humanity carried on without a care in the world. People went to work, people went to school, and people went to the well for water. On the night of December 21st, 2012, as the sun set on their days, 
humankind went to bed. Then on the morning of December 22nd, 2012, humankind was graced with yet another morning. They never knew that on the previous day, the world almost ended. We thought that would have been enough. Fucking hell. And it was, until it wasn't. Time is unyielding. It always corrects itself. The language of time works in many ways, two of which you can understand, as you are now. Linear continuity is a simulation that allows for variations. Within the linear continuity, there are nodes, choke points, moments where algorithms converge the flows of superposed possibilities to a single moment where only one absolute truth is possible. Paths are fluid. Continuous. Nodes are static. Changeless. And the wave function collapses the paths into nodes which branch out. Again and again. And again. What are you trying to tell me? And so I wonder. Can you feel the wave collapsing? Trying to course correct Desmond's act of defiance? The incoming node needs the world to end. What? The algorithms have been carving the flow of possibilities towards that end for over 100 years now. Feel. Uh. Spell. What? A labyrinth of trenches filled with mud and mustard gas. Families cowering in fear as V2s vaporize their dwellings. Fire born from the bellows of the Los Alamos laboratory, fueling global catastrophes. The Serpikov 15 incident of 1983. The Doomsday Clock, tucked away in an office at the University of Chicago. It's needle moving as the years go. The node is near. Perhaps you knew. Perhaps you felt it too. That the world is closing in on you. Um. What the fuck are you talking about? Are you saying. That there's going to be another catastrophe coming? What? What the fuck? What the actual fuck? What the fuck? They just teleported me. Um. Look, guys. We had a great time just then, but I'm not going to do that last question mark. I'm going to leave you guys with that. This has been some of the open world free run gameplay in Assassin's Creed Origins. And, and I'll see you guys next time. Jesus Christ. I did not know you could find that in free run. I thought that would be story. Fucking hell, that's amazing.